Good morning, guys, or afternoon or evening, depending upon what time you're watching this. But I'm Jenna from Activate at Home. And move this back a little bit. Today I'm going to walk you guys through our dynamic workout. So if you have some cans of soup or some books or anything, if you even have dumbbells or light weights, you're more than welcome to use those. You don't need to though, and I'll go through each exercise and talk about it if you want to use a weight then or something you have around the house to use to challenge yourself a little bit more. Again, it is not needed. We're going to start with a warm up and then I'll bring us through the workout. So for today, we are going to start with a lateral split squat and we're going to alternate. So I'm just going to move my mat back a little bit right now. All right, so we're gonna set up in a nice wide stance here. Feet are gonna stay planted. Toes are pointed forward, which I know you can't completely see right now, but both my feet are pointed forward. What we're gonna do is sit back on our heels and push our hips and butt back, keeping that chest up. Stand nice and tall at the top, and then switch sides. We are gonna do this for 45 seconds, and if you need something to balance and hold on to, you can totally do that. And I want you guys to go to a depth that is comfortable for you. So if you can't go as low as I sit, that is totally fine. All right, we'll get started here. In three, two, one. We're gonna stand nice and tall at the top, nice strong glute squeeze. Make sure that knee drives outside of that toe, that pinky toe. Don't let that knee cave in and make sure that other leg stays completely locked out the whole time. Awesome job, guys. I do recommend for this warm up that you don't need to use any weights or something to hold, whether it's around the house. Um, just do body weight for this since we're just warming up and getting blood flow and getting into it. Almost there. And time, guys. All right. Next, we're going to be on the ground, so I'm going to bring my mat back, and I'm going to tilt this down for you guys. We're going to do a side-lying T-spine rotation. So you're going to lay on your side. You're going to tuck your knees up into your chest as best you can. Try and keep them stacked on top of each other. Hello, buddy. Yeah, you my new mat. I know. I got to do a video. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I'm not playing. Go ahead, go lay down. So knees are going to be stacked on top of each other. I like to keep one leg out so that way they can stay stacked on top of each other. You do not have to though. I usually also hold them so my other hand is here on my knees. Again, you don't have to. Do whatever you need to do as long as you can keep knees stacked and that way when you come and open up with your elbow, and your hand, they don't move with you, so you don't want to bring them along. So we're going to open up. Imagine there's a seat belt here. Make sure you're going in a nice diagonal motion, and you're not going back or up. We're going to do this for 45 seconds as well, and you guys can go ahead and begin. Really feel that stretch in that upper back. We're really trying to isolate our T spine or thoracic spine, which is not super, super mobile but we want to keep it somewhat mobile. What's wrong? Do you want to go downstairs? You gotta give me a second. Awesome job, guys. What's wrong? I will let you out in a second. All right, you guys can go ahead and switch sides. Do try and make sure that your eyes are following that elbow there. Remember, tuck those knees up into your chest. Thank you, buddy. We'll get started in three, two, one. What are you doing? I'm gonna put my leg up. 
You might feel or hear some pops and cracks, and that's totally okay. You know, as I kind of hang out here for a second, I'm really trying to feel that stretch. Again, I'm really trying to keep those knees pressed into the ground and on top of each other. Almost there, guys. And time. All right, let's see next. We're gonna do a no money drill. So you can either do this standing or lying down, but I'm gonna show you guys standing right here. So what we wanna do with this is, palms are gonna face up toward the ceiling. So if I'm lying down, that's still the same thing. Elbows are gonna stay nice and tight, close to our rib cage the whole time. As we come and open up with our hands, we don't want those elbows to fly away from our body. So keep those tucked. Try and stay in a nice straight line. When you open up, try not to come out in a W. Try and think I'm just coming out like this and back in. Really keep those shoulder blades squeezed together as well. So you can also do this lying down, which I'm going to lie down now, but I just want to show you so it'd be a better view um, standing up. We're going to do this for 45 seconds. Let me tilt my camera back down. We'll get started here in three, two, one. And knees can be bent or straight, really whatever's comfortable for you. But remember, really try and keep a nice straight line in those um, forearms. If I'm here, my palms are going to be facing my face. And really make sure those elbows don't fly away. Keep them as close as you can to your rib cage. What really helps too to make sure you're feeling something is really pinning those shoulder blades back, squeezing them together. Everyone feels this a little differently, but right now I'm really tight and so I feel it very much in the front of my shoulders. If you don't feel it there, that is okay. You might be a little more mobile in your shoulders. And time, guys. See next, we're going to do hip bridges, so feet flat on the ground, we're going to come all the way up, nice strong glute squeeze, make sure that core's tight, and all the way back down. We're going to do this for 45 seconds as well, we'll get started in 3, 2, 1. Remember, keep those cores tight, no rush here. Going at a nice, slow and controlled pace. Awesome job, guys. Give a nice pause at the top of that hip bridge and back down. And time, guys. We're going to stand back up and we're going to go back into our lateral split squat. So back to the beginning here. I'm just going to move my mat again. All right, so I'm going to show you guys from a different angle this time, just so you make sure you're getting it. We're going to do this for 45 seconds again. Remember, feet fairly wide. I'd say wider than your hips. Toes are pointing forward. And make sure we stay flat in our feet the whole time. We'll get started in three, two, one. Stand nice and tall at the top. Really try and push those hips and butts back like you're going to sit down into a chair. And as best you can, try and make sure that chest stays up. We don't want to come down and round out here or hunch over. Awesome job, guys. Ten more seconds. And time, guys. We're going to lie back down and do our sideline T 
T-spine rotations next. She won that. Just got my mat, so it's starting to unravel. All right, so knees tucked up into your chest. Remember, try and keep them stacked on each other the whole time. We're going to open up, have our eyes follow that elbow in three, two, one. Nice pause, try not to rush these, really feel that stretch in that upper back. Remember, try and drive those knees down into the ground, don't let them come with you. And time, guys, we're going to switch sides. We'll get started in three, two, one. Awesome job, guys. And time. We're going to do our no money drill again, which you can do either lying down or standing totally up to you. But remember, as long as those elbows stay tight, I'm going to do my lying down here. We'll get started in three, two, one. Remember, elbows nice and tight. Really squeeze and pin those shoulder blades together. And don't let those elbows fly away. Make sure we're coming down in a nice straight line if there's a strain across my body and not here at an angle. It's okay if it's a very tiny movement. Some people have more, um, are more tight in their shoulders. And if you don't feel anything with this one, that is totally okay. Awesome job, guys. And time. We're going to finish up the warm up with our hip bridges. We'll get started in three, two, one. Have a nice strong glute squeeze at the top. Make sure that core is nice and tight. Give me a nice pause. These do not need to be fast. Hips up as high as you can and back down. Almost there. And time, guys. All right, that was our warm up. You guys can go ahead and grab a drink, which I'm going to do myself. And then we'll get into our actual workout. We are going to start off with a core circuit for today. Everything's timed. So you can either follow along with my time, or if you want to use your own timer, and totally fine. We have three exercises, sort of four, because one of them is a unilateral exercise. I'm going to do this for 45 seconds. For this first core exercise, if you have something, um, a weighted object in your house, like a can of soup or a book or something, or even a dumbbell, you can go ahead and use that. I suggest if you have 
either a dumbbell or some sort of object that you can hold it long ways at both ends. If you don't have anything, that is totally fine. This can be done body weight. So first thing we're going to do is a contralateral dead bug. So we're going to be on our backs. If you do have a weighted object, and I'll pretend this is my weighted object, what you're going to do is start with all of your limbs up, and the weighted object is going to be held heads on the ground, but mine's going to be up since I'm trying to make sure you guys can see me. But what we're going to do is lower one leg while lowering the object and or dumbbell, come back up, and then we're going to switch sides. If you do not have anything, totally fine, we're going to do, which can be a little confusing at first, opposite arm, opposite leg drops. So here I am again, I'm going to drop opposite arm, opposite leg, come back to the middle, and then I'm going to switch. Make sure we're not just switching like so. This whole time we're doing this, we really want to make sure that that lower back stays pressed into the ground. There shouldn't be a hand, a hand should not be able to fit underneath. Which helps with that is to make sure that that heel that you bring down with your leg or foot does not touch the ground. Just stop shy of that. So we're going to do this for 45 seconds. And we'll get started here in three, two, one. And what really, really, really helps is to make sure you're exhaling as you're bringing your limbs down, which helps ensure that that core is nice and tight and engaged the whole time. Again, these do not have to be fast. If you do not have an object, a weighted object or a dumbbell to challenge yourself, the slower the better here to really challenge yourself. Awesome job, guys. Hang in there. About 10 more seconds. And time, guys. Next, we're going to do a reverse crunch. You do not need anything for this, even if you do have a weighted object or a dumbbell. We're just going to have our hands down by our side. You can go either leg straight Bent, I cross mine, does not matter. If you do keep them straight, that is a little bit more of a challenge. But what we're going to do is nice, slow, and controlled. You're going to try and get that tailbone off the ground, even if it's slightly, with a nice pause, and back down. We really want to make sure we're not using our legs and hips to swing and get momentum. You really want to kill that momentum. And if you want to challenge yourself even more, what you can do is with the legs straight, come up with that tailbone. And then we're going to slowly lower those legs back down, but I only want you to lower them down as low as you can, that that lower back stays pressed in the ground just like with our dead bugs. So you choose what you would like to do for your level of difficulty, but we're going to do this for 45 seconds. We'll get started in 3, 2, 1. Really give me a nice long... Pause here at the top, really ensure we're getting nice engagement in that core. And even if it's just the tiniest little bit of that tailbone up off the ground, that is okay. Awesome job, guys. Really use your hands to kind of go against you and press them to the ground. Hang in there. About 10 more seconds. And time, guys. Next, we're going to do a side plank. So a couple different ways that you can do this. I'm going to tilt my camera down a little bit more so you can see me. Okay. So first way we can go ahead and do this is if we just go from our knees. Um, that'll be the more or less challenging, excuse me, version. Some people can come up on their knees, but they like having one leg out, so one knee is down, as long as we're in a straight line here. And then third option is going to be completely from my feet. Hips are all the way up. I'm going to kind of change angles here so you guys can see me. This is going to be for 30 seconds per side. We will get started in three, two, one. Of 
please see me. Uh-oh. I don't know if that stopped. Okay, it didn't. Sorry, guys. My computer just went, um, the computer screen came up. Make sure those hips are high and that's time, guys. We're going to go ahead and switch. We'll get started in three, two, one. And I don't care what this other arm is. Some people have it here. It helps balance. Some people just have it here. As long as you're not holding here or here, that's fine. Really try to make sure those hips aren't like this. Really try to get them forward and squeeze those glutes and keep that core nice and tight. Helps to really kind of have a fist here to squeeze and put all your weight on. Almost there, hang in there. And time, guys. You have one minute to rest, and we're gonna go through that whole core circuit again. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a drink. So if you wanna follow along some more and don't wanna just do these on your own, we also do these sort of workouts interactive with other clients or just people in general on our Zoom account, which you can find on our Facebook page. And we have a whole schedule set up, so you can just log right into Zoom, depending upon what time and workout you want to do. And we'll be there to walk you guys through it as well as other people, so it's not like you're doing this all alone. <clears throat> So if you just check out our Facebook page, that'll be on there. Our time is about to be up. So we're going to start back up with those dead bugs. Remember, if you have some sort of object or a dumbbell, we can go ahead and use that. But we'll go ahead and get started here in three, two, one. Remember, if you don't, opposite arm, opposite leg drops for me. Nice, slow, and controlled. Make sure that heel doesn't touch the ground. That way we can ensure our core is engaged the whole time. And like I said, what really, really helps here is to make sure we're exhaling as we're bringing our legs down. That will ensure that really help to make sure that um, core is engaged. Awesome job, guys. About 15 more seconds here. Almost there. And if your legs aren't as straight as mine, that is okay. That is time, guys. Shake that out. Give you guys a couple of seconds since we're doing back to back to back core, which I know can be a lot. But we're going to go into our reverse crunches next. All right. We'll get started here in three, two, one. Remember, nice, slow, and controlled. Try not to get any momentum from those hips and those legs, even if it's just a little bit that that tailbone comes off the ground. That's okay. Don't forget that nice pause at the top for me. Awesome job, guys. Hang in there. Almost there, guys. Less than 10 seconds. And time, guys. Shake that out. We're going to do our side plank again. Take three deep breaths for me. That way we can kind of give our core a little bit of a break as well. All right, we're gonna go into our side plank. Remember, this can be done from your knees or your feet. Whatever you can do to get your hips in a nice straight line is what I wanna do. And you can hold that whole 30 seconds. All right, we'll get started in three, two, 
one. I'm gonna squeeze everything here. Halfway there. Hang in there, guys. And time. Shake that out. We're going to switch sides. I'll count you guys down. We'll get started in three, two, one. Awesome job, guys. Squeeze everything. Don't forget to breathe. Ten more seconds. You got it. And time, guys. Awesome job. One minute to rest, and we're just going to go through this circuit one more time for today. You can grab a drink. I'm going to as well. So we also have on our Facebook page a lot of cool, easy recipes now that we're at home. So you check that out too if you guys need anything to, any ideas on what to cook. On our schedule for our Zoom workouts, we also have some cool interactive um, virtual, um, not happy hours, but we do, we're going to do bingo this Thursday. So check out that. I know it can be hard in a stressful time. And we also do as well, not just workouts, but some mobility and yoga to also hopefully help kind of de-stress in a time like this. So definitely give that a look. All right, we are going to go ahead and start back up with those dead bugs. Let me reset my camera here. All right. We'll get started in three, two, one. Remember, nice, slow, and controlled, keeping that core tight, lower back stays pressing the ground the whole time. Awesome job, guys. Keep up the great work. Alright, exhale on the way down with those limbs to really keep that core tight. 15 more seconds, guys. Almost there. And time, guys. Shake that out. Take three deep breaths. And then we're going to go into our reverse crunches. All right, we'll get started in three, two, one. Remember, if you want to bring those legs down, just make sure that lower back stays pressed into the ground the whole time to challenge yourself a little bit more. That is totally okay. Really make sure we're killing that momentum and not using our hips and glutes and legs to help us. And don't forget that nice pause at the top. Awesome job, guys. Give me about 10 more seconds. And time, guys. Take three deep breaths. We're going to finish this circuit up with our side plank. All right, last side plank for the day. We'll get started here in three, two, one. 
Now we're going to try to keep that body in a nice straight line. Hips are forward, everything squeezed. Make sure they're up as high as you can and not down here. Halfway there. Hang in there, guys. Last side plank of the day. And time, guys. Shake that out. We're going to switch sides. All right, we'll get started in three, two, one. Keep up the great work, guys. You got it. Almost there. Don't stop now. And time, guys. Awesome, awesome job. One minute to rest, and we're going to move on to our next circuit. So for this next circuit, if you want a mat, it's going to be standing. But if you want a mat for your knee, that's fine. I'm going to move mine out of the way for this one. If you also have any sort of light dumbbells or any sort of um, objects around the house for this, you can go ahead and grab those. We're going to do two exercises for time again as well. So you guys have about 10 seconds. I'm going to talk to you about that coming up. So we're going to do a non-alternating reverse lunge. So a couple things with that. One, if balance is not that great, you can go ahead and stand next, some, stand next to something to hold on to. We want to make sure when we're doing this that when we come back, my back knee, if possible, without any pain, comes down all the way to the floor nice and gentle, and then I'm going to step back forward. If there is pain coming all the way down, then that's fine. Just stop what's ever comfortable for you, and come forward. If there's pain even with any of that, if you have a step, like a step stool or anything, and you want to step up, we'll do that, and you just step up with one foot, and then down. We're going to do all one leg, and then the other, okay? We also want to make sure that that front knee stays vertical, and drives outside of our pinky toe like we do with our squats. We don't want that front knee to come forward. All right, so we are going to do 30 seconds on one leg, 30 seconds on the other. Again, if you have any sort of light weight, if you have two and you want to go so-and-so suitcase style, if you only have one thing and you can just hold it goblet style, okay? We will get started here in three, two, one. We're going to stand nice and tall at the top. Core is always tight with everything. Make sure that heel stays pressed in the ground and we drive up through that front heel. I know it's a little hard to see at my angle right now. But we don't want to come up on our toe. Awesome job, guys. Almost there. And time. Shake that out. We're going to switch legs. We'll get started in three. Two, one. Awesome job, guys. If you do not have any weights and you do want to challenge yourself, you can pick up this, the pace here. That's totally fine. Obviously, just make sure your form is still number one priority. Almost there. And time, guys. Shake that out. I'm losing my stock here. Next, we have jumping split squats. If you are not comfortable with those, which I'll show you in a second, 
And then we'll either do a weighted goblet squat or if you have something to hold, or if you don't have something to hold but you can't do jumping split squats, then just speed body weight squats are fine. If you are going to do jumping split squats, a couple things. Same thing as we were just setting up for our non-altering reverse lunge. However, you're going to kind of come up, switch. If you cannot make it a fluid motion and you need to come down, kind of do a hop and then reset here and come down, that's totally fine. Do whatever you feel is most comfortable and pain-free. I'm going to do just speed body weight squats since I'm going to talk, and those get me really out of breath. So this is going to be for 30 seconds. We'll get started in three, two, one. Awesome job, guys. Halfway there. Hang in there. And time, guys. Awesome job. One minute to rest. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to get some water real quick. So I know you guys can't respond, but during this time to kind of fill some of the void, I've uh, really took interest in coloring and coloring books to help relax me since I can only watch so much Netflix. I hope you guys have found something that is similar for you guys in that way that will help you guys out and, you know, stuff that you've been doing. So, we will go ahead and get started back up. First thing is our non-alternating split squats. Remember, you don't have to come all the way down with that back knee if it's uncomfortable. And remember, if any of that is uncomfortable, we'll do step-ups. All right, this is for 30 seconds. We'll get started in three, two, one. And again, if you want to challenge yourself, by any means, you can do four rounds of every circuit we've done. This is just time specific, so we've been doing three rounds. But you can always, always, always add more rounds or more time. You don't have to stick with the 30 seconds and the 45 seconds. If you have more time to do more, go for it. And time, guys. Shake that out. We're going to switch sides here in three, two, one. Or if you want to challenge yourself here but don't have any weighted object and or dumbbell, you can pick up the pace. My shoe is not tight enough because it's like falling off. Awesome job, guys. About 10 more seconds. And time, guys. Shake that out. We're going to go into our jumping split squats if they feel comfortable enough for you. And or our speed bodyweight squats slash goblet squats. So just know, do whatever feels comfortable for you, all right? So I don't get out of breath while I'm trying to talk to you guys again. I'm going to do my speed squats here. We'll get started in three, two, one. Awesome job, guys. Make sure that core is tight, even if you're doing jumping split squats as well. Take your time with those jumping split squats. They get challenging for 30 seconds, trust me, I know. Almost there. And 
and time, guys. One minute to rest, and we're gonna do one more round of this circuit. I'm just gonna turn my fan off. So you guys know what's coming up a little bit. After we do one more round of this circuit, we're gonna finish up with three rounds of one more circuit, which is all core stuff. So we need to pull out your mat again, we'll do that. And I'll kind of walk you through that once we get there. After that, we have our cool down, which I'll give you the yoga cool down we have, but of course if there's any sort of cool down at that point that you wanna do on your own, totally fine. You guys have about 10 more seconds to rest. All right, guys. That minute goes quick, but this is our last round of this circuit. We're going to start with our non-alternating reverse lunges again in three, two, one. You got this, guys. Almost there for today. Make sure when you do these as well, you're stepping straight back. We don't want to be at a tight rope either, okay? And unlike I just did, if you are coming all the way down with that knee, really make sure nice and gentle. Imagine there's broken glass or eggshells. Don't slam that knee down. And time, guys. Shake that out. We're gonna switch sides here in three, two, one. Up the great work, guys. You got this. Hang in there, almost there. And time, guys. Shake out those legs. We're going to finish up with our speed squats and or jumping split squats for the last time. All right, we'll get started in three, two, one. Awesome job, guys, hang in there. That core tight. Don't stop now, we're almost there. And time, guys. Awesome job. One minute to rest, and we're gonna finish up with the last circuit, which I'm going to talk about. So again, if you want a mat, because we're gonna be pretty much on our hands and forearms for this last circuit, that's totally fine. What we're gonna do is two exercises, 30 seconds for each, and then you get 30 seconds to rest, and we're gonna do it again, so three full rounds. The first one is a plank on your hands. So ideally, setting up on your hands, if you have wrist problems, or that really is painful on your wrists, you can go ahead and do a front plank on your forearms. I know some people also have some toe issues, so if that bothers you as well, what we can always do is just a V up hold. So what this looks like is you're gonna be on your back, tailbone slightly up, shoulder blades up off the ground, my head is up off the ground, and I'm just gonna hold that for 30 seconds. That is the first thing. After that, we're gonna do a plank up down, which I'll show you guys when we get there as well. So let's start off with that plank on your hands or forearms, or if you need to do that via pulled. We're gonna start with this for 30 seconds. Let me get my mat. All right, we'll get started here in, let me set it up this way actually, because I'm gonna go around. Let me get my feet on this. All right, we'll get started here in three, two, 
One. Sorry. Good. All right. Make sure we're doing our front plank on our hands or even our forearms that our shoulders are right over the top of our wrist and or our elbow. My body is in a nice straight line. You see my hips aren't up or down like this. Really squeeze everything here. Core is nice and tight. Flex those quads and those glutes. Hang in there. And time, guys. Next for our plank up downs, we're gonna start on our hands. In our plank position, just like we just were, we're gonna come down on one forearm, down on the other. I'm gonna come up on my hand, up on my hand. Don't really worry about the alternating part, that's okay. Try and keep those hips level on this, this one can be tough to do so, but really focus on that. Again, if you have wrist problems, we're gonna get a plank on your forearm here, and you can also do this elevated if this is tough. And we're just gonna do a reach. All right, the reach also does not have to be so far and wide, because I do wanna try to keep those hips level. If it's just a little reach, that is okay. Again, if you have toe issues, we're just going to do V-ups. So what this looks like is instead of holding now, I'm gonna go out and in. Trying to still keep those shoulder blades up and that tail load up, okay? This is for 30 seconds. We'll get started in three, two, one. And if you are doing the plank up downs, they do not need to be fast. Of course, if you want to challenge yourself, you can. But I really want to focus on trying to keep those hips nice and level. That's going to be the most challenge. So if you need to go slow, that is fine. Hang in there, guys. And time. You have 30 seconds to rest. We're going to do those two things one more, or two more times, excuse me, to finish up today. Quick sip of water if you need it. That 30 seconds goes fast. We're gonna go back to our plank on our hands or your forearm or that V up hold if that is painful on your toes. All right, we'll get started in three, two, one. And we're really trying to keep those shoulders over top of those wrists. That also helps keeping those hips stay level. And don't forget to breathe. Hang in there, guys. Almost there. And time. Shake that out. We're going to do our plank up downs or our plank arm march or our B ups. My thing keeps going, so hang real tight because I'm scared it's going to stop videoing me. All right. We'll get started here in three, two, one. Remember, it doesn't matter how you come up and down if you're alternating or not. Don't worry about that too much. As long as you're coming up and down on your forearms and your hands. And really try and keep those hips as level as you can. Especially when you're down in your plank, try and make sure those hips come down, but not too far, so that our body's in a nice straight line here. Hang in there, guys. Almost there. And time, guys. 30 seconds to rest, and we're just going to do this one more time. Grab a quick drink of water if you need it. you guys have enjoyed so far and I hope that you guys have been able to do everything if there was something that I did and there was not an alternative for that you need one feel free to comment 
All right, guys, final round for today. One more minute of work. We're going to start off with that plank or, for, or plank on your hands or plank on your forearms or your via pole. We'll get started in three, two, one. Last round, guys. Make it count. You got this. Hang in there. Almost there, guys. And time. Shake that out. We're going to finish up today with our plank up downs or our plank arm march or your V-ups for reps. We'll get started in three, two, one. And if you're getting really tired here, especially on those plank up downs, just go ahead and hold that plank on those hands for me if you can, if you need to, okay? Last 30 seconds of work. You guys got this. Finish strong. Almost there, almost there. And time, guys. Awesome job for today. We are going to cool down to finish up again. If there is a specific cool down that you want to do, you can do that, or you are more than welcome to follow along. So you can grab a drink if you need it. And while you guys are drinking, I'll explain. We're going to start off with a pigeon pose, if you can see me. Let me bring my mat a little bit more. So you're going to start down on the ground. One knee is bent. I'm going to bring my other leg straight out behind me. And then if you can, we're going to try and swing the foot and the shin in front as best you can. It doesn't have to be completely perpendicular, but just a little bit. And then we're going to start sitting back toward our heel of that other leg, really trying to get a stretch in this hip and glute of that leg that's bent. You can come in and out of it, and if you want to just hold it and hang out there, you can kind of also come down on your forearms. We're going to do this for a minute, and I'll show you an alternative once I start my timer here, if I can. All right, you guys can begin. Um, if that is painful on your knee, what you can do, to still get a nice stretching your hip and glute is find a surface that you can sit on where your legs are a little more perpendicular than mine but we're going to cross one leg over you can see and then just kind of sit up tall and press down so you still feel that stretch in that hip and neck glute okay i just knocked my huge case of water over Guys, I have about 25 more seconds. I'll get down into my vision pose for that last 25 seconds with you guys. And again, if you want to come in and out of this stretch, you can. You don't have to hold it. And time, guys. We're going to switch legs. So just come on up, bring that knee down. I'm going to start the timer. You guys can begin. And that other leg's going to come forward. Do whatever you need to do to find a nice stretch in that hip and glute of that leg that's bent there, okay? And just let that heart rate come back down. Take some nice deep breaths in and out. Awesome job, guys. About 15 more seconds here. And time, guys. 
Next, we're gonna do a cobra stretch. So we're gonna lie on our chest and our stomachs here. We're gonna come on up. Try and think you're trying to get your chest up completely and extend those arms. We're gonna hold this for a minute, which I'm gonna start the timer. If that is too painful on your wrist and or too much of a stretch on your lower back, you can kind of slightly bend those arms a little bit, or you guys can go ahead on your forearms. Just really try and think you're trying to pull your chest up. You can also come in and out of this stretch if you need to. You don't have to hold it for the whole minute. So choose whatever one. I have you guys on the clock for a minute already. About 20 more seconds. Remember, please feel free to comment if you need any sort of substitutions, okay, for the whole workout in general. We have one more thing we're going to do to pull down. I'm going to show you guys on this angle. It's called our supine stretch, but you guys are going to need to be on your backs. We're going to have one knee tucked up into your chest, and then you're going to cross it over. It's okay if that hip starts to come off the ground, but try and keep your opposite hip on the ground. We're just going to hold this for a minute, which I'm going to start the time. And if you need to, you're more than welcome to kind of hold that um, knee with your hand while the other hand is down. That way it's not just kind of hanging out here. And again, really do what gives you the most stretch here. We are trying to kind of get a stretch in that nice lower back. I know it can be weird if we're just hanging out and that leg is up and you feel that more in your leg. That's okay too. That's why I said it might be good and helpful to hold that knee to kind of lessen it just holding itself up. About 20 more seconds, guys. And time. We're going to switch legs. And then you guys can go ahead and begin. You might find one side feels tighter or more loose, and that's okay, that's normal. Awesome job today, guys. We still have about 25 seconds in this position, but I hope you enjoyed the workout. time guys you guys can completely relax you guys are all done for today thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed like i said please make any comments you need to and i can help you guys out if you need some substitutions have a wonderful day guys